Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on this channel. And today we are going to create a product listing website which you can see on this browser right now. So we are going to create a product listing website like this using React Query, some CSS and React. So that's the overall agenda of the day. Now for creating these products, we need an API. So we are going to use the fake store API. So this is the API that we are going to use. So there is an API endpoint on Fakestore API called uh, Fakestore API slash products where we get product details like this where you get title, price, description, category, image, and rating and so on and so forth. So we are going to use this uh, Fakestore API and we are going to create the product listing website like this. So here is the final website that we are going to create. So for creation of this website, we are going to use the Stackblitz platform. So on Stackblitz, we are going to create a new project first. So let's go to Stackblitz, sign in using GitHub. Then go to front end and select React in JavaScript. Once you are inside, uh, we need to like install a few dependencies. So let it get generated. So it will generate a web container and it will install all the necessary dependencies. And it is now running npm install and npm run dev. So we are going to use, take a little bit help of chat GPT and that's uh, one of the reasons. Uh, the one of the reason is because today we are anyways using chat GPT for most of the stuff. So let's not waste time on writing the code ourselves because that is going to take a lot of time. We are going to use chat GPT and uh, take the code from the generated code and then use them in our actual project. So let's go back. And as you can see, we have a white plus react created now we are going to create another terminal here and we are going to write npm install axios and react query so these are the two dependencies which we need so if you see the second step in creating react app we need a react query and axios so we are creating those and we are adding them here so npm install axios and react query and press enter so this is going to install the react query and axios library now we come to the src folder and we create a new folder here called components and in components we are going to create a new file so the first file which we need is product list so this is the file which will contain the product list which we are going to use in our code so let's create product list for js file into our code and in the components folder let's create a new file name it product list dot jsx because we are using stack list and it requires that the component code should be in jsx the first thing is the import so we will import react from react use query and axios so these are the three libraries which we need and we hit save now package now let's just check package.json to see what version of react query is installed so it is 3.93 so we are going to use version 3 of react query and axios is 1.7 so we have imported the necessary libraries next we are going to create the product listing website so first let's create the component now this is the product listing component which we are going to use and uh, next uh, we are going to create a function which is fetch products so this will fetch the data from this fake store api products and it will pass it to our code so fetch products contains access.get so it is a get request and a response dot data is returned by this fetch product. so this is a basic function to fetch the data next we will take the loading and other state from use query so this is the syntax of react query first we write the query key so query key is used internally by react query for various purposes and then we pass the function to fetch the data which is the query function so if you go to the time stack react query docs version 3 you will see the official syntax so we have the query key query function and is it is enabled so you can find more details about query key here query function is the function which is used to get the data and it returns the is loading error and data as the values so you don't have to like uh, manually add the is loading error and data state variables you just have to 
get those data from react query itself so that is the one of the advantage of using react query so let's add the is loading error data from the use query the next thing is if it is loading then we will show the loading if it is if there is an error state we will show the error dot message so let's copy that next we need the actual dom elements so this is in the return so we have a product list uh, products at the top with h1 tag then the data is containing this json array with products so we are mapping over the data using map function and we are passing the various images and details into the code so let's pick up the return from here and add it to our code and hit save next we will add some css so let's create a new component for product list dot css in this we will add some styling for our code so let's copy the style sheet so this is a basic css like for product card and then grid container for having the products in a grid a grid patch pattern using grid template columns so that and the other minor css so let's save this come back to product list and input the product list dot css using import dot slash product list dot css and hit save then we are going to need query client provider so query client provider is a wrapper component on the top of uh, react query any component that you need so query client provider provides the essential functions to the product list itself so i had to like ask the chat gpt for a separate implementation for this so we will create a query client and query client provider which is a wrapper component of react query and we'll go to copy this and add it into our files so within the src folder we will create a new file name it react query client dot js and add the code next we will take this query client provider and add it into our code base so let's import the query client provider and query client from react query client and add the provider into our code so that's done and the final step is to import this into our app.js so import uh, product list with query client into the app.jsx file and replace the entire data with product query client so let's remove all this and as you can see we have a product listing website listed so if you want to learn more about query client provider you can go to the react docs and you can understand more about it, it is basically a wrapper component and this was a short tutorial on building a product listing website using react query using query use query syntax and query client provider so yeah that's it from my end for today thank you have a nice day goodbye